I'm here to give you a site tour on Muwele Makere University e-learning environment for the module that we're about to do that is BLT 2120 Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science. So to get to the Muwele learning site you'll have to type the address muwele.mac.ac.edu UG into your browsers and you'll come to this interface. Then you type in your username and your password. By now you'll be having a Mwele account, so you'll be having a username and password, and then you log in. Once you've logged in, if you don't have many courses that you're attending, your dashboard might be empty. Or when you log in and you don't see the course that you're doing, that is BLT 2120 Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science, go to colleges. Colleges is on the extreme right-hand top corner. So click on the link of colleges All the colleges in Makerere are going to come into view. Look for COVAB. Click on COVAB. Once in the interface for COVAB, look for your school. School of Biosecurity, Biotechnology, and Laboratory Sciences. Click on that hyperlink. The three departments in SBLS, BBS, BEP, and BDS. Hematology and blood transfusion science is found in the department of BBS. So click on that link. Yours is not a graduate course, it's an undergraduate course. Click on undergraduate. Your program of study is Bachelor of Biomedical Lab Technology. You click on it. All the courses in all the year of study are here. Your course is in the second year of study. That's where we want to go. And once in the interface of the second year of study, your course is in the first semester. So this is the course you're doing this academic year, BLT 2120, Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science, 2024 to 2025. And you click on it. It will ask you whether you want to enroll, and that is OK you can enroll. So I have accessed the course, BLT 2120, Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science. So please allow me to use a student mode so that you can actually understand and move with me. Yes. So you'll find that I'm logged in as a student, just like you. So your course starts on this page. There's a welcome message. Sometimes you may not see it. You may have to pull the menu down in order to see it. So click on this arrow. The menu will drop down. And take your time and read this welcome message find out why you're doing the course and as you find out more about it the facilitator the coordinator is given to you there the photograph 
and the email addresses. But we also have a complete list of facilitators. If you click on this link, it will take you to the complete list of facilitators. And it appears as a PDF. You can get to know them. So let's go back to the course. Let me close that window. And as you read the welcome message, there are many interactive links. If you want to know the course outline, which is important, click on this link. And the course outline will appear. It has the aims, intended learning outcomes, therefore for this course. Um, it has the list of topics that you're going to do in chronological order as they appear in Muele. So I can see we have about 10 topics. Five of them are lab-based, not 10, actually um, 14 topics. But six of them are lab-based. We have a list of the reference materials, those that are online, those that in hard print, education videos. So a list of all the materials you're going to need for the course, including the reference materials. The practical guides, all are listed here. So now that we know how the course outline looks like, let's go to another section in the introduction the study guide. The study guide is important. The study guide is important. I'm looking for it. In fact, let me look at, at the study guide that was used last year. It will be more relevant because it, got, it has dates. So your study guide is actually your hand tool for you to navigate throughout the whole course. Let me just point out a few important aspects. The welcome message is here repeated again. Uh, the course overview, the learning outcomes, the way it's going to be graded, that's important. And we've got constructive alignment. A list of the, um, it has a list of the topics that you're going to do, and they appeared in the outline subtopics and here it has the intended learning outcome that this topic is addressing so you're not learning through the topic blindly you look at the intended learning outcome and the title of the topic and then you can follow through with the lecture say like the first topic which is um, the types of leukocytes, the functions and patterns in disease. The intended learning outcome addressed by this topic is ILO1, intended learning outcome one. And if you go higher up to the list of intended learning outcomes for this topic, for this uh, module, we'll find that ILO1 is simple at the end of this course, according to Intended Learning Outcome 1, you'll be able to describe the basic physiology function of the different constituents of blood. They can be red blood cells, white blood cells, or plasma proteins, and explain the importance in normal physiology of animals. This includes man. So let's go back to the topic. That is exactly what we are doing in topic 1.1, where we're looking at the types of leukocytes, functions, and patterns in, dis in disease. We are looking at the physiology of the leukocytes, the histology, and the function and the patterns in disease. So the study guide, you know, has got all, all the ELOs mapped to all the topics that we are going to teach. But the study guide will also tell you when 
the topic will be delivered the day of the week so we can see topic one is going to be delivered in top in week one here it was delivered on the 29th of august last year the time and the mode it was given online the assessment strategy we had for topic one was to assess your updated profile if you go to topic 1.0 it was given in week two in september online at this times and the strategy we used for examining topic 1.1 types of leukocytes functions and patterns in disease is given on the extreme right we had self-reflection questions assignments a wet bench practical and a quiz end of semester exam and also a practical at the end of the semester so this is the constructive alignment of the course where you get to know the topic subtopic the ELOs it is addressing when the topic will be covered and the assessment strategy how it's going to be assessed so this is your hand tool that you use as you're navigating the course throughout the semester making you you know self-reliant you don't need to wait for the lecturer to come and tell you what to do when to do and how to do it the study guide also has the course outline the list of topics in it given it has the list of reference materials youtube videos digitized lecturers textbooks shared electronic databases learning videos and lastly another important fact that we're seeing in the in the study guide is the weekly schedule of activities and their deadlines we are going to see the activities shortly these are assignments we're going to do it has the assignment number a brief brief description of the assignment and it has the date when the assignment is due up to the time because most of these assignments will be given online so that's much that's pretty much what the study guide has got and the welcome message we're still on the welcome message will even take you to the library where you can look up library resources if there need be i've opened it in another tab and the internet is bringing it on and yes we have we've gone to the list to the, the library resources so let's go back to our course we are pretty done with the welcome message so all the topics all the topics are listed in chronological order topic 0 1.1 1 1.2 1 3 4 topic 2 3 4 topic 3 topic 4 5 6 7 and so on they're listed in chronological order so you'll be you'll have to move chronologically down the screen at a given time to do the topic so when the timetable comes out we are going to put the date at which the topic is available so another resource you're going to need as you navigate this course is the resources and tools so this is your library it has all the textbooks practical manuals and lecture notes if you clicked on it it's going to take you to the interface with the textbooks practical manuals and lecture notes this is just a view to give you how the cover page of the textbooks look like these are the manuals that we've developed and the lecture notes that we have developed so 
the first folder, one has got um, important tools that you can use to navigate through, uh, through Mowele. You know, there's the student's manual, course outline, orientation lecture, other facilitators, study guide. Then the next folder has got the textbooks and reference journals, the, uh, the laboratory manual. All of these are textbooks. Folder two has got the lecture notes on leukocytes. And you know they're hyperlinks. You can see each time I touch on them, they become active. You can open them up. Lecture notes on erythrocytes, you can touch them. I mean, you can open them up. So when you're done with the resources and you want to go back to the main course, you will click here. You will click here and it will take you back to the main course. So we've done the welcome message. We can minimize this. We've done the resources needed for the course. We can minimize it. You see, we are moving in chronological order. The next topic, 1.1, you'd click on it and click on the lesson. Topic 1.2, you'll click on it, and you can see the three lessons. You will click on them. To access topic 1.1a, click here. And that's where you click. And topic 1.1a comes on. Topic 1.1a, types of leukocytes, functions, and patterns. Mm -hmm. Topic number is 1.1. Topic title is leukocyte types, functions, and patterns in case of disease. The outcomes addressed as we teach or learn in topic one is found in course-wide learning outcome one. You'd have to go to the study guide to find out what ELO one is. But we also have subjects, I mean, subtopic specific ELOs so by the end of topic 1.1 you'll be able to explain the morphology and distinguishing features of all the cell types use scientific terminologies to describe abnormalities use library resources to search for peer-reviewed information on white blood cells indicative talk content what does topic 1.1 contain in detail? It has got um, material on granulocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, and their abnormalities, types of leukocytes, common terms used to describe uh, leukocyte abnormal syndromes. So you are pretty much learning in a coordinated manner. When you're done reading this page, move to the next one. Sorry, my internet has let me down. Yes, sorry, we are topic 1.1a. Eh? We finished the first page. We're going to the next page. Now, the next page is actually the main, the main course or the main meat for the lecture. It has a purpose. Why we want you to study topic 1.1a the types of leukocytes, functions, and patterns in disease. Then it has a section where we tell you what we're going to use as you learn about this topic. You're going to use custom-made PowerPoint slide movies. You're going to have three activities to work with. And you're going to even submit a group assignment. Then it has the preparatory research. The research you're going to 
encounter as you study the topic. So the first part of your research here would be to watch this digitized video, lecture series one, that has got interactive questions. Then we are giving you textbook materials to read and get more information. There will be, you know, the textbooks, the lecture notes, they've been underlined. Lecture notes are given here, the textbooks are given here, up to the date. You know, the World Health Organization, WHO Manual for Basic Techniques, page this, and it is available online. Practical Hematology by Daisy and Lewis, page that. District Lab Practice in Tropical Countries by Monica Chisbro, we're giving you the page. The OIE Field Manual, Clinical Path, which is a digitized website is given there. And when you're done with this reading, you have activities, which, which are done online. We're calling them ETVTs. This time, there are reflection questions for you to read through and find out whether you understood what was being given. We tell you that this topic is linked to other topics, and we tell you that topics is linked with we tell you the deadline by which you must complete this topic. This is going to be week two. And when you're done, even we've told you that this topic takes about 12 hours to complete. When you're done, to move to the next ETVT 1.1b, you can click here. Or if you want to go back to the list of topics for this module, you click here. I think, let me go back to the list of topics. And it has taken me back to the home page. So in brief, that is a site tour. Welcome to Mowele. I hope you'll enjoy your study. For some of the cases, for some of the topics, if it's not yet time to do the topics, you'll, it will give you an indication that it's not available. Even as you click on it, it will give you the indication that it's not available until the actual time to do the topic comes. So thank you very much. You're most welcome to the course. I hope you enjoy studying with me.